Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to go over how to use the animation director in Avisa. So the first step in this tutorial is to open some data. So we're going to click Open Data, and we're going to go into the Data Directory, and then to Teddy Bear, and we're going to select Teddy Bears from slice 0 to slice 61. And click Open, click OK, and there we go. So Avisa, when I open Teddy Bear, it automatically created an ortho slice for it, and while that is good, we want to create just one more ortho slice. So we want to click on Teddy Bear and click ortho slice. So now we have ortho slice and ortho slice two. But both these ortho slices are at the same orientation. They're both on the XY plane. So we want to change ortho slice two to be on the XZ plane. So now we have two separate ortho slices that are pointing in different orientations. So the next step in this is we want to learn how to animate these ortho slices and, anim and make them move across the data set. So we're all done in the project view and we're going to go to the animation director view. So the first step when you get to the animation director view is to name your animation. So we're going to name it Teddy Bear Ortho. There we go. So now that we've named it Teddy Bear Ortho, we're going to select the first ortho slice. So in this tutorial, we're only going to animate this slice number property, but you can animate any property that has the time dial next to it, which is all the properties in Avisio. So the first step in this is we're going to move it to slice number zero, and then we're going to click this time dial button right here. So what that did is it told Avisio, okay, at time point zero, we want the first ortho slice to be at slice number zero. So now let's do it for ortho slice two. So we're going to change the order now, and we're going to first click the time dial. And if you're on the correct time point, you when you change the slice here, it will change what this what the keyframe is set to. So currently it's set to 44, but we want it to be set to zero. So let's move the slider to zero. And now you can see it's set to zero. You can also edit these keyframes by either clicking here to change the value at that certain time point, or by typing in the time you want this keyframe to be at. So now we want to animate it and make the move. So to do that, we want to move to time six, and then we're going to add another keyframe for both of these ortho slices. So you can either add the keyframe right here. So we're going to do that for ortho slice one. And there we go. And we're going to move this to slice 61. And see how it now interpolated. So we're going to go from zero to 61 in the first six seconds. And then for ortho slice two, we can also just click in the time dial just like that and change it to go to slice number 127. There we go. So now we're going to click play forward. And we can see how these ortho slices are now going through the data set. Just like that. Awesome. The next step is let's say instead of having them both go at the exact same speed, let's make this ortho slice 2 basically finish in the first two seconds. So instead of going to just slice 42 by this point in time, I want it to go to slice 80. So we're going to add another keyframe in, and then change the value to 80, just like that. So now let's see what that did. And we're going to click play forward and see how it went fast, and now it went much slower afterwards. So if you wanted to move this around, you can just click and drag it. And then you can also delete it by clicking the delete button right there. Just like that. Cool. So you don't need to have it all we, your animations last for a minute each time. You can simply have them last for the time that your animations take to go through. So for us, that is six seconds. So we can move this endpoint to just be at six seconds. Now, if you want to skip to the end, you can use the jump to end button, or if you want to skip to the beginning, you can skip the jump to start button, just like that. 
The final thing I would like to show you is the movie creation dialogue. We will go into this in more detail in another video, but you can use this to create videos of the animation and record them for export into other programs. All right, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.